In this quick framework video, I will show you 5 features you probably did not know about. So without any further ado, let me introduce myself. My name is Nandi, this is Film University, and let's get started. Jumping right into the first one is a new feature called Truncate. So if you have a text, let me just draw a text box here with pressing down T and then drawing on the canvas. So here we have a bit of text, and so let's see what is Truncate. If you go to the right panel and click the plus next to the text, we're going to find truncate, we can click it. As you can see, now we only see one line here and then a few dots. If we set it to two lines, then we're going to see two lines, three lines, four lines, or we can set it to whatever value we need. And so you might be thinking that, oh, okay, that is really great, but what can I use it for? Well, let me show you. So here I am within the Framer University Framer project. And if we scroll down on this landing page, we're going to see that I have these little cards for the blog posts. And you can see that the title of the blog post is written in this line. However, you know, the blog post might be a little bit too long in, in terms of the title. And so to make sure that it doesn't break into two lines and messes up the whole layout, because then one card will be larger and the other card will be smaller. We just add this truncate to make sure that every single card will be the same size. We're just going to have a single line of text and yeah, we're going to be able to read this part and then the rest will be hidden. So before uh, this feature, we were able to do this. However, we had to use code overrides. So as you can see, if I go within this component, you can see that I was applying a text truncate code override to this text layer to achieve this effect. Now with Framer, you just do it with a native property. So yeah, it's pretty good. Now the next feature is inline content editing, which is really useful when you are on a detail page for one of your CMS collections. Let me jump to my resources page. Uh, by the way, Framer University is a really, really cool website. I don't know if you know about it, but it has a bunch of resources, as you can see right here. So Framer.University slash resource, if you don't know this, make sure to bookmark it because you have a bunch of components, remixes, blah, blah, blah. So back to the Framer project that actually defines that website. Uh, you can see that this is a detail page here, which means that this is a template that is being reused for all of my resource items. So usually what you had to do in Framer to be able to edit what is written here is you had to go inside of your CMS and you had to like re rewrite the text here. So maybe I can delete Framer and as you can see, it's no longer there. Uh, and yeah, I just, I was able to, you know, customize these properties on the, on the, in the CMS. And that's how I was editing. However, now Famer released a new feature not so long ago that here on the detail page, I can double click and just edit the content in line. So yeah, I can just delete Framer if I want to do it. And I can do this with any other property. So for example, I can click this image and uh, actually, can I do that? Yeah, I can. I just have to click on the right panel so I can just I don't know, upload a new image here. So everything is editable in line. So you no longer have to go back inside of your CMS collection. However, you might be thinking, okay, now I'm editing this project or not this project, this resource item. But what if I want to edit another one? Well, you can just click here on the top and you can switch to another resource. Yes, I know I have a bunch of resources. I cannot do anything with it. Uh, but yeah, if I select one of these, um, I can again, just double click and edit content in line. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so next feature you probably don't know about is text color. Again, this is a new feature. So uh, if we go to, let's just stay in the Frame University project. If you go to this right here, and I wanna make sure that this, the made easier is highlighted a little bit. Well, previously this wasn't really possible because all I, I mean, I could do something like a frame. I could just draw a frame here. I could set it to absolute position. I can, I can position it here. I can change the color and I can make sure somehow that it's behind the text with Z index and uh, it's, it's not easy. So now with this new property, all we have to do is just select the text that we want to highlight this. And then on the right, again, next to text, we have a plus button we can click that. And we have fill 
uh, we have padding and radius. So if you click fill, you have to be really careful. Fill is not the same as color. Color is the text color. Let's set it to black. And fill is the background color of the text. So I can set that to white, for example. And now as you can see, it is highlighted. Isn't it cool? And now I can also just, uh, I don't know, make the, um, the radius. So I can add the radius. So maybe this highlight is a little bit rounded. Or what I can also do is I can add padding. So it's a little larger. Pretty cool. Of course, now it's a little cut off because this has to have overflow visible. But yeah, um, again, pretty cool feature you probably did not know about. Now, I'm going to stay inside of this project for the next little feature that you probably don't know about. Uh, I think you already heard about the tip or the best practice inside a framework that you have to set alt text for all the images. Um, but you might have already built your website and you have a bunch of images on the side and you, you just watch a video that tells you this tip that, hey, you actually have to set alt text for all of the images and you're like, oh my God, you should have already told me this because I have a complete website with hundreds of images and now I have to go back and, I don't know, add the alt text for all of these images. I have to find each of the images one by one. Uh, it's just too much work. Now, with this feature, you can make your life a little bit easier because all you have to do is inside of a framework project, you just press Command and K on your keyboard. And then if you search for Asset Manager, so Asset Manager, I can press Enter my keyboard and you're gonna see that I have all of the images uh, that are being used on this website. So I can just scroll, 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 scroll. And you can see that a bunch of images are, um, they don't really have all text. Um, I don't know why uh, they should have, but <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe they are used uh, somewhere else now on the website. I'm not sure actually, but yeah, you have to make sure that all of the images that you're using, you you know, they have to have all text uh, describing the image. Uh, these might be images here that are like here, not on the website, uh, but on the canvas somewhere, and that's why they don't have uh, alt text. But for example, any image that you use. Um, inside of the breakpoints, for example, let me just find an image. Um, where is an image? Okay, let, for example, this is an image here, a little profile image. Let me just go within the component. You're gonna see that this is right here. And if I click here, you can see that the alt text is set, image of Michael Rittering. Pretty cool. Now the last feature is gonna be pretty crazy. As you can see, I'm not even inside a framer, so you might be asking now the how are you going to show me a framework feature when you're not inside the framework? Well, let me show you. I'm on the framework university website again, and um, let's say that I want to change this text here. What you would normally have to do in any other uh, website builder, or I don't know, you just have to go in inside of the code or in the, in the editor and change it. It's not that easy. Like you have to do a bunch of things. Now in framer, all you have to do is Visit the website. I'm like, you're not gonna believe me, but I'm literally on the Framer Network's website. And since Framer knows that I'm the owner of the website, I see a little something on the right, edit content. You are not gonna see this on my website. You're gonna see this on your Framer website. And if you click this, now, <laughs> look at this effect, by the way, it looks amazing. So now you, you enter an editing view but you can basically edit the content on the website. Like if I wanted to change this image or like video, I can do that. Uh, but let's just change this text here. Watch, practice, repeat, and more. And he's there. And all I have to do to like, I don't know, save this is I just click finish editing. And as you can see, uh, the no notification was sent to collaborators, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the thing is that this will not be published you still have to go back to Famer and you have to click publish here, but that's basically it. So you can do a bunch of changes here, or if you're collaborating with someone who doesn't really know how Famer works and uh, you know they don't really wanna like mess around here on the canvas, uh, they can just you know casually browse the website and they can be like, oh, actually, let me change this text or whatever, and they can edit it really easily. So yeah, 
uh, that's basically the last feature you probably did not know about. Alright, so I think that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and if you learned something from this, you have three things to do. First of all, you have to like the video. Then you have to comment something, something nice or something not nice. It's up to you. And the third thing that you have to do is subscribe. And actually, where you're gonna have the fourth thing to do, you're gonna also have to go to the Fumi University website and really browse the resource section, browse the I don't know the lessons, the blog posts, and just learn, learn everything about Framer because I'm literally sharing everything I know, um, which is uh, pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, these are the things that you you need to do. And yeah, that's it for me, uh, from, from me. And yeah, make sure to like this video again, subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.